Hello, Conroe ISD family. As we wrap up this second week of the school year, wanted to come to you this afternoon and give you some updates about our school district and how our year has started off. First, we are so excited to have our students back on campus. We are welcoming almost 67,000 students to our buildings each and every day. And students, you are brightening our day. I wanna say a very special thank you to all of our Conroe ISD staff and parents. I would encourage you to reach out to your students' teachers and everyone on campus to show them how much you appreciate the efforts that they are putting in. They are being pulled in a lot of different directions and yet we are successful each and every day because of the work that they are doing. One of the more common questions that I've received over the last two weeks have been in regards to masks. I know that masks and mask mandates are something that generates a lot of emotion and concern on both sides. We presently do not have a mask mandate in Conroe ISD. As you know, the governor issued an executive order that forbid us from creating a mask mandate. Now, just last night, the Texas Supreme Court issued a temporary restraining order on the governor and that guidance. We are waiting for more information in the coming days regarding that guidance to understand if we have a decision to make regarding a future mask mandate. If that decision is to be made, it will be made by our elected board of trustees. Now, regardless of a mask mandate, I want to share with you some data today that should help you see one thing clearly. We need to do something as a community to help make sure that we can keep our schools open and keep our kids safe. I encourage you as strongly as I can to wear a mask when you enter our Conroe ISD facilities or have your children wear masks when they come to our schools each and every day. The medical experts agree that the masks help slow the spread of COVID-19 and can help keep our schools open. So regardless of your previous decision that you've made regarding masks or those of you that have potentially said, we'll wear one when the time is really needed, I'm telling you that now is the time that it's really needed. There's not a mandate. It continues to be your choice, parents, as to how you react. I'm just asking you to please give strong consideration to that choice. And let me share with you some data that you need to know as you're making that decision. This first chart will show you our student positive cases in 2021 as compared to our student positive cases in 2020. You can see here in week two, we have only four days reported so far. We have not added Friday's data to this, but you can see at 670 student positive cases, we have more than tripled even our worst week from the 2020 school year. As we consider the staff side, once again, you can see that in 2021, we have far exceeded already here in week two, even our worst week, from the year 2020. We must act in order to protect this school year. Part of our response in Conroe ISD is moving our alert level now to alert level four. As a community, you will notice some changes in our schools during alert level four. Our cleaning routines are ramped back up to the same routines that we had last year, meaning we sanitize each and every classroom every single night. We'll also be limiting visitors on campus, you may see us postponing certain events until a later date when our numbers are no longer spiking. We'll also rededicate ourselves to hygiene, spacing, and we'll be limiting in-person meetings on our campuses. Our focus in this process is to keep our schools open and secondarily, make sure that we keep all of our UIL events in place. In addition to this, we are ramping up our testing efforts, extending our hours for daily testing, as well as adding a pop-up testing site on Saturday at McCullough Junior High in the Woodlands. This swift action is necessary because moving to level five is catastrophic. Level five involves the closures of school. The primary reason for a closure of school would be if we did not have the proper number of staff to safely run a school on a given school day. Now, one of the things that we all need to understand as a community is that the state of Texas is not giving us an option to go virtual if we have to close schools. So what does that mean for us? That means that if we close schools because of COVID-19, we have to make up each and every minute that we miss. That could mean lengthening the school day into the future. It could mean removing holidays throughout the school year. It could also mean adding days to the end of our calendar. I know that that's not a scenario that any of us want, and so we will all act to make sure that we avoid it. 
So how do we as a community ensure that we can avoid level five and keep our schools open so that we can serve our children every day? Well, we know what works. We did it last year. And it starts first and foremost by doing everything we can to keep the virus out of our schools. That means not sending sick children into our buildings. If your child has been tested for COVID-19 and you're awaiting results, please keep them at home until you know that they are negative. We've had the same conversation with staff to please not report to work when you're sick. Second, we know that proper hygiene works well. We know that cleaning our buildings each and every night works well. And the last thing that we learned last year is that mask usage worked well. So once again, I'm asking you and encouraging you to give strong consideration for staff members to wear a mask each and every day, and for you as parents to consider sending your child in a mask every day as well. I know we all look forward to the day when this current wave is behind us and we can get on with more of our normal activities. I'm still very confident that this is going to be a great school year and that we can keep our schools open and we can keep our children and our staff safe. It's gonna require some action of us now, but we can do this. As a community, we have proven it. We proved last year that we could be successful, and I know that we can do that again this year. I wish you all a wonderful weekend. We'll look forward to seeing your children back at school on Monday.